Put your smoke out. What? Oh. You gotta taste me. Drop your smoke. Drop your smoke. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground now. Peace for mankind. Peace for mankind. Peace. Ah! Ah! ACLU. 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 Ah! Everybody's on Troll, turn over 43. You get me done. What is your full name? My name is Mike Oren, O-R-E-N. I'm part of the Actions Committee at Occupy LA. And can you tell me a little bit about the eviction? Well, I was one of the first ones ar arrested and one of the last ones released. I was uh, kept in jail three days and waiting for court all day Friday and holding tanks. And uh, late in the afternoon, uh, about five of us were transferred to the county jail. I was released on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. What was the eviction experience like for you? Well, I was at the top of the south steps and they came through City Hall from underneath City Hall in force and there were policemen in riot gear and helmets and batons. First arrest was a photographer like yourself threw his camera down, and then four of them, or five of them, uh, knocked him down, and he got up to read a badge number, and they knocked him down again and arrested him violently. Then after that, they arrested me. So you've been here since the beginning. Um, since October 4th. And I kind of, what do you hope to see happen with the future of Occupy? Uh, more unity and more, uh, more people joining the movement. It's very important that we build a new government from the bottom up. And I think that's the theme of this movement. Thanks, we need, we're gonna need a statement for sure. Peace Walker! Oh, outstanding. Peace Walker! Okay, Michael. Peace for mankind! Sir, Peace so what exactly happened here earlier? I mean, I saw him acting very bizarre. What, what, what did he do to you? Well, I come in to get something to eat, and he started threatening me, got in my face, started putting his finger in my face, and then he, started, then he, then he had the nerve to call me George Bush, and that's when I really thought it was, that was too far.